Hi, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to turn these simple items and this blue barrel into a 55 gallon worm bin. Okay, so this is a standard 55 gallon drum. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a door in here with some hinges that I purchased that go backwards and forwards. So these are gonna be great to be able to hold this at the top. Um, I'm using a soft, this is just a tape measure that you get from Ikea, one of those paper ones. It's nice and soft so I can get a nice uh, exact number all the way down. I'm not sure if you can see, maybe you can the light, is there are these seams in the barrel that exist and I'll use the one up here to be my true line so everything is nice and even. Um, down here on the door there will be two handles like so. Oopsie daisy. Uh, there'll be two handles like so, so I can just lift them up. Um, and then on the other side, there is going to be a tap uh, just in case if it gets wet or if there's rain and I need the water to drain. Um, that will be that. It should be quite secure in my garden. It's going to go under some shade, under some trees, um, and the door obviously is to keep all the uh, birds out and the pests out and the critters. And this is just a precaution measure, just in case it will be there. Um, let's get to it. I want this to be roughly around 14 inch door. This will rotate slightly backwards, like so, just so I get a good access to it. 14 inch door, which goes here. So I have my line, before I, get it, before I get my jigsaw out and give it a cut, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the markings for where I want my screws and everything to be. It's all aligned. And I'll pre-drill these holes before I start cutting anything out, on this, at least on this part here, uh, just because there's more structure to it, it'll be easier for me to drill through before I cut. So now I've made all my holes, now I need to make, I'm just going to drill a little few couple of holes here just so I can get my uh, jigsaw blade in and then I can start to cut. There we go. That is going to be our access point. Loads of room. Fantastic. There's the first one. I'll just do the rest. I'll check back in a second. Okay, so now all the hinges are on. It should work like a dream. It kind of does. Uh, and I'm just going to put the handles on now. So now the handles are on, uh, this is all through, that's all good. I made a bit of a boo-boo here, I fixed that. I just ended up threading the screw head on that, so I'll fix that. My wife just came out with a paint, with a pot of paint and I've just been informed that this will be painted because she doesn't want it blue in the garden. There you go. And then now I'm going to start on the base, on the legs. So the idea for this is to take this PVC pipe, quarter inch PVC, and I'm gonna cut it down. So I'm making a stand for it. What that means so is gonna be on either side of here. I'm just gonna sit on top. Uh, because I want it to be at a slight angle, I want, um, so if there is any liquid in there, I want it to drain from one side. Plus on the bottom of this barrel, there is like a little lip where my fingers go in. So I wanna be able to put that tap 
into a position where there is uh, access to the liquid so nothing becomes stagnant. There shouldn't be too much liquid in here anyway. I'm not planning on, on soaking it. Just in the summertime when it's hot, there will be, um, I will spray it with some water every couple of days. Uh, just because the humidity is quite high, but the temperature is quite high, even though it'll be in shade, it will pretty, uh, dry out pretty much uh, very quickly. So uh, the idea is I'm just going to cut this across now. I'll just measure across here, cut this down. I've got special um, elbow, uh, el joint elbows for these. I'm going to put a specific pipe, stick it all together, and I'll, um, we'll go from there. Right, so I've cut my sections down. These are the long um, struts, which are 84 centimeters long. These are my 260 centimeter long um, verticals, along with 250, uh, 250 bits for the, for the little verticals. And then um, I have another 450s as the cross sections, both top and bottom. I'm going to start putting these together. I'll put it together first and then um, before I glue anything, I'm going to make sure that everything is good. Uh, well, that's a problem. So I thought these were the half inch pipes, but it seems that these are only half inches themselves. That is a pain in the ass. Let's figure out what we're going to do first. Okay, so I found a temporary solution. First thing I did was burnt it and made it soft, but it just stank and it didn't really work. Second option, which actually worked is I took my axe saw and just cut a cross section in the pipe, push these two down and this, and it fits in nicely. I'm just gonna make these cuts slightly deeper just so that it can go all the way through. And that should give it some extra sturdiness, sturdiness and strength until I find a permanent solution for this, but I don't wanna be leaving it around half finished. As you can see, I've got other half finished projects and so this will be finished tomorrow, hopefully wait for some brackets to arrive but yeah so that is the solution that's what we're gonna do so i put it together as you can see this is the higher end this is the lower end this is the last piece that's going to go in let's just put it together we'll put the bin on top and then we'll see how it looks so good news and bad news good news is we're finished bad news is we're not finished so originally i was supposed to do this with three quarter inch pipe um, the elbows that I've got in mind, I haven't checked them for today, and I've had them for about a minute. Uh, and they were half inch, but even then, they're only half inch on the outside, not on the inside, so they're not even half inch connected. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, we found a solution, we put it together. The problem now is twofold. One, it is too long, and it is too wide. Okay, so I've made some changes, made some amendments. It, I had a bit of a blizzard, in all fairness. I ended up cutting the, um, the straight pipe, well actually on the first one, I cut it twice, not knowing that it was the same piece. Anyway, long story short, it works, it's good, it's stable, it is temporary, so I'm going to put some bedding in this for my worms. Um, which has been sitting around for quite some time. I'll probably still let it sit in there and just get acclimatized into the garden, make sure that there's no issues with it, and um, make sure it can take the weight before I, can, before I actually put um, living worms in there. And, uh, and yeah, so that was it. These, I will definitely use three quarter inch in the future. If I was to do it again with PVC piping, it is the easiest method to use. However, I am probably now, in hindsight, thinking that I'll uh, just get an old pallet and break that apart and build something that's more structurally sound, um, just for the long run. But yeah, if I'd have, if I'd have just done this with, with three quarter inch or one inch pipe, I would have had no issues at all with stability. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. 
hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. As always, hit that notification bell. And hopefully it's really useful. If you guys are looking for a cheap and easy large solution to put your worms into, you should go up.